Hello there, thank you for joining me for That's the Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Today we're going to start off, start off with Psalms 145 8. Uh, my dad really loves Psalms. And in Psalms, it says that the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and have great mercy. And we're going to talk about that mercy. You know, and, you know, we all know that he's been very merciful when it comes to Israel. He's also been very merciful when it comes to the United States. You know what? Now that, you, now that we think about it, he's been merciful when it comes to the whole world. You know, we don't deserve his mercy. You know, what we do deserve, we do deserve death and everything that comes with it, including hell. You know, and, there, and I don't think there's a whole lot. Well, there are some people out there who would disagree with that. But anyone with a, with a quarter of a brain cell understands what I'm saying you know because we have sinned you know man and I understand that you may not have chose to do that but human nature uh, caused us all to be born into sin because we all come from Adam and Eve but you know we we are I mean every breath we take is proof of the mercy that God has given us you know, I'm, I'm one for telling all kinds of stories uh, about mercy. And, you know, the Bible is just full of stories about mercy. You know, and there's so many of them. I mean, it's just so hard to pick one. So let, let's talk about, you know, what we've been talking about, which is the mercy God has given us. You know, God doesn't want anyone to die. He doesn't want anyone to go to hell. That's why he gave his son, Jesus, uh, to us, uh, so he can go to the cross for us. You know, we put Jesus on that cross. You know, Jesus is going to come back. And you know what? It may be sooner than you think. You know, there's a couple of preachers that are out there, uh, John Hagee being one, and the other one, I cannot remember his name. His name skips me off, you know, all of a sudden. But uh, they're doing... They, they've been preaching about the, the four blood moon. You know, and they're saying that God's mercy is, you know, running short. And I can understand that. You know, and the thing about it, I know ever since I was a kid growing up, we've been, you know, we've been told that God's mercy is running short. And you know what? I believe it. You know, we got a... You know, a lot of people says that, you know, the president, he, he's a godly man. I really don't think the president's a godly man. I mean, he's up there, and everything he can do against Christianity, he has done. You know, he's for gay rights. I mean, he's for abortion. I mean, it's, it's just really, really gotten to the place where it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know? And people, and, you know, including Christians, are just setting back and thinking that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. You know, someone's going to pay for all these innocent lives that are dying. You know, and all these babies. I mean, they're babies. You know, just in New York, I think it was 20, uh, 2012, um, I had seen a video of a, a gentleman was doing this, and they said that there was more black and Hispanic babies died from abortion than what was being born. Wow. Someone's going to have to atone for all that. You know? And God is still being merciful to us. But getting back to the four blood moons, I've been doing research on that, and I think I'm going to do a short series on them because uh, I find it very interesting. And what I've learned uh, when it comes to these blood moons is it's very, I mean, it's, it's, it's very interesting. You know, and it all, it all goes, you know, everything based around Israel. And we all know Israel is God's chosen people. Now, the guy that's in the White House now, I don't think he's going back to Israel for, for nothing. You know, uh, because Israel, Israel, you know, which we, we don't agree. You know, we, we accept the New Testament. Israel does supposed to not for right now anyway you know they're they're not looking at jesus as the messiah the true messiah 
and um, they're not going to be fooled by the Antichrist either. And you know, Israel's going to have to make a choice, and Israel's always been making choices, folks, and not necessarily for the good. They they've made a lot of mistakes in their past. You know, we in this country are making a lot of mistakes right now. You know, and it's it's going to come to pass. You know, everything's going to come to light, but. You know, and that's what the four blood moons is about. They, they're they representing, uh, which I like the way John Hagee put it, is uh, God's billboard. The universe is God's billboard. You know, anybody that has any doubt that there's a God, all they have to do is look into the heavens. You know, they, that just didn't come out of anything. And Psalms, it tells you that the very planets speak. You know, Jesus, uh, I mean, God spoke and created the stars. Wow. You know, and the thing about it is, that's why I've always said, you know, it seems like people in the past were smarter than people in the present. People in the present don't see that. You know, I think that they're a little insane most of the time. That's what I'm thinking. But, and it's just utterly ridiculous. But, you know, God's mercy is great, folks. You know, we, we got to learn to, uh, you know, we're going to have to learn one way or the other. You're going to kneel before Jesus, and you're going to call him the Lord and Savior. And, you know, it's going and at that point is when he's either going to say he knows you or he doesn't. Don't you want to know him? I mean, the very man that not only died on the cross for us, you know, and if it was just one person here on earth that was living, that was sinful, he still would have died for that one person. That's how much his love is. So, wouldn't you wouldn't you rather be on the side of someone like that than to, and who's created everything, than to uh, be against him? I think that's a little foolish myself. You know, there there's going to come a time when everybody well, it's going to seem like the whole world is going to be against Israel. You know. Uh, people saying that you know, Israel surrounded by enemies, and they are. Everybody, you know, everybody over there is always against Israel. And uh, but the thing about it is, they're not ever, ever, which they want to, but they're not ever, ever going to be able to wipe them out. And you know, we're going to talk about that a little further later. You know, when we talk about the blood moons and things. Um, like I said, I'm I'm doing a lot of studying on that, and I am very, very um. I mean, I'm finding out a whole lot of stuff with that, and I'm loving what I'm finding. I'm excited about what I'm finding. You know, this isn't my theory. It isn't uh, something that I created. Um, I'm actually listening to uh, some preachers about it. I'm actually looking into uh, astronomy. I'm looking into uh, NASA websites, and you know, and I'm looking at the timelines. I mean, this is going to be something very interesting, you know, and I just came across it by accident, you know, and I've asked a couple of people, you ever heard of the blood moons? And uh, they're like, no, what's that? Man, and this is like, you know, some of the biggest news that you're ever going to hear, you know, and I, and I just want to share it and I want to get that word out there, you know, and you could take it for what it's worth. But I have put a lot of time in looking into this and um, doing some studying. And it's going to be more than just one video, you know, because that's how big it is. If I try to make it into one video, it will probably be like three or four hours long. So uh, stay tuned for that. And, you know, I'm going to get it out there as soon as I can. I'm still looking into it. But it just goes into how, um, how, how much mercy God has given us. You know, throughout throughout the years, and you know, and I'm I'm seeing it every day, and I'm hoping you do too. Thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day.